All right, let's talk souls modding tools and how keeping them organized just got way, way easier. This is tool name. It was very largely developed by tireless efforts from a modder in the DS modding community named Nameless Hoodie. Uh, they are super tight, by the way, so uh, I'll link some of their stuff to check out and we'll, we'll touch back on that in a little bit here. Uh, tool name is essentially a hub for many of the Souls modding tools and it comes equipped with the ability to automatically download and update a lot or if if not all i'm pretty sure it's all of the tools in its directory which is just bitching if you really don't like digging around for different links for things in github or uh potential reddit threads or discords or wh whatever you know, it's it's just it's awesome so that being said we'll get into the installation and basic functions of the tool uh right away here here we're just taking a look really quick at the uh, tools and resources page on the server name uh, Dark Souls Money Discord. Um, right here is going to be a link for the tool name build. Uh, get a little little description here. Um, also, just a little shout out to this Discord server as a whole. A lot of these people are way 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 more talented than i when it comes to uh modding and that kind of stuff i'm just a peon that uh has been bored enough to want to communicate this kind of stuff to you guys and help other people kind of get into it and hopefully people can kind of you know surpass me by you know a, a lot uh just by getting a little bit of a it start or a help based off of the, the videos I'm making. So uh, anyways, here is a link for the tool name build. Um, it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. And uh, the other place to find it will just be in the link and the description here that'll just bring you uh, straight to the GitHub. This is the same link that you'll find in the Discord as well. Um, and then as far as installation goes, it's just going to be the same as any other tool or software that you download. You're going to go ahead and click to download the zip file. Um, and then you can just go right on ahead. Give it just a hot little second here as it finishes it up. Drag that over if you want to. Do it however you want to at that point. But go in, use 7-zip. You can extract it. You're going to get the little folder for it. Open that bad boy up. Go down until you get to the uh, executable here. And then you can run it. And then this is where you're actually going to see probably like one of the coolest parts about this tool here is uh, it has an auto update feature, which is just really cool. It will also uh, bring up a little question for you it'll ask you do you want to download all the available tools for this uh, I'll give you a little list here of all the tools that are available for this um, little bit of software I'm gonna say yes um, if you have slow internet it might be a little bit of pain the took us this this bit here but this is really cool because it actually just goes ahead and it pulls um, a bunch of these tools and automatically downloads them it bundles them all up together for you and uh there you go right here along the left side here you got all the different games you got demon souls and all the tools that are going to be associated with modifying demon souls you've got dark souls remastered prepare to die edition dark souls 2 scholar bloodborne dark souls 3 which is pretty exclusively what i cover um with the availability of these tools, maybe I'll lean into some other games uh, a little bit, but we'll just see based on time and availability. Um, so yeah, you've you've got a number of tools all available to you right here. Um, a couple of these things may require you to download um, some net downloads to get them to operate um, appropriately. That's not a big deal. If you click on one of these things and it asks that of you, 
you just it'll give you a little warning here you can click yes it'll actually drag you uh, right to where you need to be to download what you need for it you can close that back up and then you can run what you need to run I um, actually uninstalled all of this and then I'm reinstalling it here to kind of just show you that process a little bit um, it's really cool it's really nice to have all these things all bundled up together and honestly if you are new to modding um, as I suspect a number of you who actually watch my content might be this is just a super super convenient tool to get uh, a lot of these things bundled up together. There are things that aren't included in it, such as Yabber, but that's okay. Yabber is a great tool and it's super worth getting it and you just get that on your desktop or you run the shortcut for it or whatever it is that you want to do. But um, just having things all nice and clean and in its own little, little world here is super nice. Um, before I started using this tool, this is actually what all of my tools look like for the longest time is all of this stuff here just a bunch of different files and folders for different tools a bunch of different shortcuts all this kind of stuff so definitely gonna go through and clean all that up now um, I'll put a shortcut on this for on my desktop and all that um, it is very impressive it's it's very cool I, I enjoy being able to have all of my stuff lined up together for me uh again this was made by nameless hoodie um they work pretty darn tirelessly to put together software bits and bobs and modding and all sorts of stuff um i actually am subscribed to their patreon to uh help support their endeavors in making this kind of stuff i will definitely link that down below um, if you are interested in supporting them uh, I this is this is not like shill for myself or anything. This is strictly to support them and their efforts. Um, I won't see any money from that or anything, so I don't I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to you know give me some dollars or anything. I'm, I'm not. I'm just trying to support a good friend who's working really hard to make stuff to make things easier for everybody. So um, yeah. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the tool and. Uh, it helps you out 